Hey developers, today we're gonna look at 42 web development resources and online tools for web developers. So I picked every one of these different tools. I think they're all useful in different ways. We're gonna look at different CSS tools. We're gonna look at different tools for online code editors. Uh, a lot of mismatch of different things, but I think this is gonna be really helpful. If you guys want the full list of all these different resources, I put a gist linked below and we'll talk about it even in more detail. And if you're new to this channel, my name is Eric. I'm a web developer. I have over 10 years of development experience and I'm also an author. And you can see some of the links below of some of the things I've done. Oh yeah, one more thing. If you like these videos, please click that like button and click that subscribe button and feel free to share this video so everybody can get an idea of these resources. All right, one of the reasons I made this video is Reddit and slash web dev had a 28 web dev resources stickied thread at the top. So I went ahead and took many of those different links and kind of compiled these different links for you guys. So let's begin. So first tool that I think everybody in 2018 should know is the web technology for developers. It's the MDM web docs. This is a, a great resources. It has tons of articles of all your favorite JavaScript, HTML, CSS, different APIs, libraries. It has a tons of information on basically how each and everything works. Uh, this usually, if you a lot of times when you Google basic web design or web development things, you'll either see an MDN doc or you'll see W3 schools. I believe MDN, I really appreciate it more. I think it's a little bit better than W3 schools. Let me know but what you like below better. Do you like MDN or do you like W3 schools? I would highly recommend MDN. Another great resource for CSS now, we're talking about a complete guide to Flexbox. So your CSS Tricks website has tons of great articles in CSS. If you're trying to learn Flexbox, this is a, an amazing tutorial on it. it. has tons of information on it, so I would highly recommend it. If you're not interested in reading about it, you can also take this course by Wes Boss. It's absolutely 100% free, and I actually have a link below to it. It's called What the Flexbox, and Wes is an amazing teacher. He teaches all about Flexbox. If you don't know what Flexbox is, it's a type of way you can manipulate your CSS and create a, a kind of a system inside your uh, layout of your HTML and CSS, basically. That was a terrible explanation, but you guys understand. Moving on, another CSS tricks tutorial I think is amazing is this complete guide to grid. Uh, CSS, uh, Flexbox and grid are, are really popular ways of laying out your web pages. And this has a really great article about it and tons of information of how you want to lay it everything out and all the CSS selectors and all that. Moving on, if you're just looking for great documentation, I have two resources for you. One is devdocs.io. What's cool about this, it has not just HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. It has AngularJS, Angular 2+, it has Vue, Bootstrap. It has tons of information. You can just type in what you're looking for Let's see if I was doing like a VF, or let's say if I was doing a NG, if, uh, NG, let's say if I was looking for JSON stringify, I could do JSON stringify and it would show up here and it loads it for you. It actually pulls the MDN documentation. So this is a real quick and easy way of looking up documentation instead of having to Google it like most of us do. Another cool tool is called Dash. This actually, you can download it, it's for the Mac. And then you kind of get the same option. You hit this hotkey, you can type in whatever you're looking for and it'll bring up the API documentation. Another great resource is Free Code Camp. They just have tons of, they have a really great YouTube channel. They have a whole curriculum that you can go through that you can learn web development from basically nothing to everything. Uh, I don't know if expert would be the right, but you, there's just tons of resources, um, like 300 plus hours in some of these things. You can get done tons of different certifications. I would highly recommend free code camp. Eloquent JavaScript. Usually when people recommend different JavaScript books, one of the ones that always comes up is eloquent JavaScript because it's free. It's been updated. It's uh, it's really in depth and you can learn all about the great parts of JavaScript. There's also a book called JavaScript, The Good Parts, which is getting a little bit dated at this point, but it's also not a great JavaScript book. Uh, you can find it on Amazon. 
Another resource I really like is the web developer roadmap in 2018. So this ro purpose of this roadmap is to give you an idea about the landscape and to give you and if you're confused about what to learn next. So there is a ton, a ton of things to learn as a web developer. I mean, we kind of cover the surface, the HTML, JavaScript, and CSS, but really there's the front end, there's the back end, there's the infrastructure, or sometimes known as DevOps. So there's tons of different possibilities and there's definitely a lot of different roads. And this gives an amazing guide of like what you should do first, learn HTML, basic CS, JavaScript. And then talks about different types of, of CSS preprocessors like SAS, PostCSS, LESS, Stylus, Linting, NPM scripts, Webpack. I mean, it just the list goes on and on. There's just tons of great information and even has a backend roadmap. So you you can see, well, maybe I want to go with Elixir and like the Phoenix or the Phoenix framework, or you're looking at a Python or Ruby and the differences between all of them. So highly recommend this. Moving on, there's the front end checklist. So you can see here the GitHub here. It's an exhaustive list of elements you need to have to test before launching your website. So this is kind of cool. You can bring up either the GitHub or go to the this website here and you can just check mark. Well, I mean, did I add a doc type? Did I add a char set, a viewport? Uh, do I have a 404 page? Did I add some linting in? Do Am I using web fonts? Am I using responsive web design? So you can kind of go through this whole checklist to make sure that your first website or any website you're doing kind of follows the best standards and that you understand what uh, what you're doing here. Another great resource is JSON Placeholder. Uh, Brad Traversi, if you've ever seen some of his videos, he uses this. It's, it's pretty cool. You can you can use it to just grab basically fake JSON data for your API. So if you just want to test something out, you can grab posts or comments or to-dos. And you can see the example here, you just put it in and it just pulls it in for you. So you can use this as just a, a quick way to, to grab JSON information as a placeholder in your app. Another cool list is API list. There's so many APIs out there. There's a few websites like this that just list different APIs. I like this one because it's it looks really nice and has great information. Um, tells you kind of apps, libraries, gives you a bunch of information about it. Another, there's a few sites, quite a few sites out there that give you free stock images and even videos. So the first one I want to talk about is allthefreestock.com. You can get uh, even some videos on here, tons of free stock photos. Um, you can do searches to find what you're looking for. Very cool. Uh, I also sometimes just go to image.google.com and then search for images that are not licensed. That's another way of doing it. You can go to Pixabay. This is probably more popular and Unbounce or Unsplash, I should say. They, they both have just tons of free images you can download and use. Um, they also have paid images. Unsplash, I think everyone's used this. They're just great images. I've sometimes used this in some of my placeholders. I'll just randomly grab a, because this has an API too, randomly, ra randomly grab an unsplash image. Form carry, there's a, quite a few websites that do these like forms that are hosted elsewhere. So form carry is a form processing service which allows you to handle forms on your apps without a backend code. So this makes it really easy to do forms. There is Font Face Ninja, which is a Chrome extension that you can download. Actually, I have it right here installed. So if I click on it, I can go around my app and I can see exactly the different fonts. It actually lets me buy them if I want, um, which is really cool. You can see this is Source Sans Pro. So very useful. FilePond is a JavaScript library just to make it really easier to do faster uploads. You can see here's some examples. It's just really easy to, to plug in and, and use it in your, your apps. Abstract, this is called like a GitHub for sketch sort of. Uh, it's kind of an, an interesting concept. It's designed with confidence. Abstract is a platform for modern design teams to work together. So you can kind of create these different designs and then collaborate with other people with it. It's very neat. Uh, an oldie but a goodie is Dribbble. There's so many amazing designs on Dribbble. If you're looking to create a website and you have no idea how you want to design it, you know, some of the best designs, um, people steal from others. It's it's okay if you steal the design, maybe give some credit or at least take inspiration from people's designs. You can go on Dribbble and, and look at other people's designs and kind of get a great idea of, 
of what's popular and, and what looks good. So I would highly recommend Dribbble. Regex, uh, now moving on to, to some other things. Regex is a, a way we can kind of grab certain information and we can parse text certain ways and grab certain information. I'm not very good at regex, so a website like this where I can just put in my regex code and it'll tell me what it matches on is really useful. Another UI design little tweak is little UI details. This is uh, Twitter moments where this guy just put together a bunch of visual design skills, little information where he's gathered just tons of like little things to, to think about when you're doing the visual design. Very neat. Hacker terms, this is sort of like urban dictionary for hacker terms. So if I want to put in like MongoDB, I could see what the definition is. So if I ever hear someone spouting out some term I've never heard before, I can search on hack terms, which is definitely useful. Uh, there's a few websites here I want to call out. There's these awesome type websites. You can find awesome React. You can find awesome Vue.js. You can find awesome Angular. And they're just like collections of really cool links. So here's just awesome lists of awesome. So this actually has just tons of lists of lists almost, and then tons of information. So if you want to get awesome JavaScript promises, standard tips. So this is like the head level of, of a lot of this uh, Vue.js. And you just click on it and it'll bring you to a list of awesome Vue.js. So this is the list of lists. So one of the big ones is awesome view. So if I wanted to get like find out what view podcasts there are, go to awesome view podcasts and I can see here. Hey, by the way, views on view, I'm a I'm on that podcast. If you guys ever want to check out stuff on view, uh, check it out. Views on view, by the way, cheat.sh. So of course, if you're in a Unix type environment, you can use man pages, but there's some times where that's not good enough. Um, you can actually either put inside here, you can put slash LS and get definitions of certain commands. You can actually use curl on your command line and get information. Um, so this will tell you like examples of how to use LS. Very useful, very helpful. Uh, for a few courses, this is an oldie but a goodie, the Web Developer Bootcamp. I actually have a link below to this course. If you buy it, full transparency here, I get a couple of bucks. It's an affiliate link. But it's a course I highly recommend. It's like 40 plus hours of content on, on being a web developer. Very useful. Check it out. Uh, my course, I have a course called Create Awesome Vue.js Apps with Nux.js. So this is two courses on one, really. You have all a bunch of information on Vue.js and a bunch of information on Nux.js, which is like a single, it's like combining the best of a single page application with some server-side rendering too to make it a little bit faster. So um, this is a great course. I also have a link below for this if you guys are interested, if you want to learn in Vue.js. So you might not need jQuery is a great site. It actually has tons of information about how you can take your jQuery code and turn it into normal JavaScript, plain old JavaScript. So you don't need the library at all. And so like if I want to do a Git call, I might be using XML HTTP request, posts, requests, effects, like fade in. So this kind of really opened my eyes to saying, yeah, you don't need to use jQuery. There's tons of ways to do it without it. Another great website is Can I Use? So this is awesome for browser compatibility. So let's say I want to learn about Sticky. So I can say, hey, does CSS position Sticky? What web browsers does it support? So it's not supported in IE 11, but it is supported in the latest edges and Firefox and Chrome and so forth. So this is an awesome site you can kind of determine if what you're using is compatible with older browsers. Placekin. So there's three sites here that I like. Uh, there's Placekitten, Lorem Ipsum, and Dr. Ipsum. So Placekin is just a, there's a bunch of these sites where you can use placeholders to put images in. So you can just use this URL here and there you go. You'll get a nice little picture of a kitten. If you just need to get some lorem ipsum text and generate it, you can use the lorem ipsum generator and you just kind of copy in, say I can just generate lorem ipsum. I can just copy and paste it into my document. I like this one because it's you can actually use Doctor Who and it gives you like text down here. That's a little bit more funnier. So I'm a big Doctor Who fan, so I use this occasionally. Popular resources, you can see here there's 
uh, this is just another huge list of like latest articles that are coming out on web development. You see here like the view handbook, the front end performance checklist. So a lot of cool and inf interesting information. If you want to mark, you want to validate your markup, you can just put the address in here. It does uh, to see if you're W3C compliant, which is a helpful website. There's a few uh, kind of code editors online. One is called CodePen, one is JS Fiddle. There's a bunch of these. I like CodePen a lot. You can easily create a new CodePen and then just put in your different app and, and information and get started real quickly. Same thing with Fiddle. Uh, it's just real simple to put in your HTML, CSS and generate little snippets, little pages of code. You can share it easily with others. This is kind of nice, responsinator.com. Uh, you can put in a website in here and then it'll generate it and show you what it looks like on mobile and different uh, side views and Android. It's really nice. Uh, you can obviously this is you can do some of this inside your Chrome terminal by using your dev tools, um, but this gives different versions. If you're really interested in, in learning how to what your website looks like on different devices, kind of the gold one of the gold standards is browser stack. There's a few competitors to this, but if you this is a paid service, but if you buy it, you can then literally load your web page up in IE 11, IE 8, IE 9 and see if they load. And you can just do tons of different perspectives and different mobile phones, Android, different versions of Android and really get an idea if your browser if your website looks well in all those different versions of those browsers. Uh, one thing I really like is Code Tech and Caffeine. This is the group that I co um, I help moderate with Dylan from Coding Tutorials 360. It's an awesome group. We already have over 6,000, almost 6,500 members. It's this group you can join for free. We help you guys out. If you have any questions on web development, if you're a new beginner, it's a great place to be. And also uh, me and Dylan post our videos and, and it's a great place to chat and talk to us. So if you're interested in this channel, it might be a good place to go and uh, sign up for and the link below, there's a link to that below. And I'll have to give uh, a shout out to my new book, Vue.js in Action. It is very, very close to being released. It's actually in early access. You can download it now. You can get the ebook version. You can buy it. Um, it's pretty much 99.999% done. So the if you buy it today, it's not going to change much at all. And the hardback version will be out very, very, very soon. So I'm really proud of this. It's a great book. Um, it's over 306 pages on Vue.js. We go over everything you want to know about Vue.js in depth. And finally, I want to say you can come to this website, Program with Eric, or you can go to eric.video. If you're watching this, make sure you click that subscribe button, click that like button, and share this video with other people who might be interested in it. And this tutorial, this channel, I go tons into web development frameworks. I go into uh, lots of Vue.js, lots of advice for new developers, and uh, just kind of my opinions on different things too. So if you're interested in all that, I'm also going to be doing an Angular series soon, an Angular five, uh, Angular 6 series. So if you're interested in anything about Angular, I'll be doing that. And also, if you're interested in some older stuff, Ember.js, I have tons of videos on that too. So I think this is a great resource. You guys should subscribe to it and watch. And I put all these links. There's a link below in the text to this gist. So you can put, you can take a look at all the different links I mentioned. I kind of organize them into different categories and feel free to leave a comment with, uh, if I missed anything that you thought was really useful in 2018 as a resource for web developers. So thanks for watching this video. It was a lot of information. I really appreciate it. If you guys like these type of videos, make sure you click that subscribe button and I appreciate it. Take care.